Okay, so let's test the Megascans trees. This is free, so all you need to do is go to your launcher. I will find in delivery, I just type tree because I've already clicking get. So you just need to click right here. And I will add to my 4.27 project. Okay, so now we'll be downloading. So let's wait a little. And don't care about this, this will be for a further video about the fire pack. So let's go to content, black calder, maps. Hmm, let's check this. And wow. Okay, it's open at this time. <laughs> so I will not do F11 because I'm using the ultra wide monitor, but let's Hmm. Looks like a normal speedy tree model. Don't look so fancy, but the shadows looks good. Maybe is about the illumination. Let's try the subsurface. Not it's so strong. Okay. Against the denomination. Ooh, this is imposter. Let's see, right frame. No, not this imposter. Let's increase the speed of camera. Ooh, now it is imposter. So, maybe five. <gasps> this imposter looks beautiful. Look. Wow. Uh, but the transition are bad. So you can see the transition. So this is the LOD full. And when we go back. So at this distance, it looks great. But where is my shadow? We don't have shadows. Uh, this is disgusting. So directional. Oh, distance field maybe is not enabled. Edit. Go to project settings. Distance field. So, generate mesh distance field. Yes. So, restart now. Let's restart. Open. Okay. So let's find again my map. Open. Ooh, now we have shadows. Now we have a beautiful shadows. And let's see. Wow. You see, now we have the fire shadow. And if we go closer, we have the shadow we have some problems in the shadow yet because we don't know how it was set up but looks good looks fancy this transition in the LODs I hate so probably I will do a video about how you can proper optimize and create the imposters and then we can compare I will try to duplicate, so I will create a video about this, but let's play. Let's play a little with this scene, and I want to show the FPS. Where is my news? This is bad. This is very bad. So, F11, 70. Wow, what is the chart code? Alt P, <laughs> yes, Alt P, but you need to be right here, be a lot more closer. Change the player ah, who made this is an idiot. So, Alt P, yes, so now we can walk 
Maybe I only can walk because I already have the third person added to my project. Don't crash. You see this? Okay, so I don't have first person, unfortunately. And I need to disable the camera. Collision camera. But let's check. Ooh, looks fancy. Fancy and expensive. <laughs> ah, I hate this camera. So I will go to my word settings. Maybe I need to open the third person. Find this guy. I think it's the camera. Collision, collision camera. Collision. Nope. Camera boom collision. Do collision text. No. So compile and save and close and play. And now we don't have this weird bug. Yes. So F11. Oops. Let's check again. So yeah, the problem is I can't check right here. Fuck. But it's fine. So 50 FPS, this is so expensive. And this stupid box, I will reduce the size. Okay, this will be fine. And another two, because then we're going to check this part. Okay, out B. Nice. So, this guy looks weird. And maybe I need to change my resolution, but I love the ultra wide and I will not change this. I will do the magic <laughs> in the in the software editing for this video looks very very bad in performance I not will buy I have a Ryzen 9 in the GTX 1060 so maybe of course my graphics card aren't the good but I think if I put this in the Unreal Engine my performance will go to just 5 FPS because if the Unreal Engine 5 is 35 FPS right now, I don't want to check in the 5. So, a lot of guys were taking the videos just with the sun hitting the, the tree. But looks like the shadows right here isn't so good. And everything here is wide frame without imposters. So maybe in the player perspective will be good. I will increase now this size. And mamma mia, what the fuck is this? play from here okay so far distance everything there is the imposters nice so the imposters looks good and let's walk until the end of um, maybe these imposters are good maybe just maybe Let's see the pop-up, we have some pop-ups, and uh, I've, okay, let's back, oh right here, you see, the colors are a little different. Maybe the guy is just 
do these imposters from the LOD0. This is why this isn't so good. But I don't like the leaves at the distance. I don't like this. I will give a zoom so you see the imposters. And one thing we can check is the albedo color is the same. So yeah, this will be very bad. Let me check in the buffer visualization basic color. So I will move a little and you will see the changes in the albedo. You see these color changes are very bad in the performance. Not performance, but the overall look of your tree. So right here in this tree. Okay, let's keep the focus right here. I will. This is the normal mesh with these colors. And if we go in delete, this will like like this. And so this is looks dark. Basic color looks light. Okay. And if we go back until we load the imposters, you will see the changes in the colors. So right here, okay? This is because the base color are in the wrong. So the mesh is one color and the imposters are correct. Let's check the specular 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 okay so this is specular this specular looks like are fine oh right here not is so fine so let's go back you see are very the imposters looks like are very darker in the specular so this obviously we have the bad color and let's see the roughness. Ooh. So roughness are more cleaner and the imposters are just darker. So if we change the values of these, we will have a better imposters. So the transition will be more seamless than this. This looks dark and strange. But of course, we don't know right here. We have just a few leaves, but if we go back, it will be a solid color. So this isn't good. Let's see, we will from this. Looks strange just in the illumination. So this looks one color and we go back, the colors will change and will be more darker. So if we redo the imposter will be good. Another problem, let's see if this is a problem. Let's go to directional, directional light and is something in a defense is right here we can increase the size of this let's try 300 so now it looks better than 100 100 will looks like this. I will press G to be game mode. And if we change to 300, you see the the shadows are more more stronger. But if we go more further, uh, no shadow at one. And let's decrease, decrease, decrease self shadow. zero but we have this ugly transition skylight let's check real-time capture I will be Naple distance field mm, they've changed a little so I will grab this value 
and oh, so this is not. Yes, this looks better at default. They change a little for. I think this is why it's not so dark right here because they change the shadow color for more. Ooh, this looks clever. Mm. So maybe this is more real life, not so real life because they're a little messy. Let's change a little. Maybe this dark is more realistic. Wow, this looks beautiful. And the transitions from the imposters. Everything here is imposter, I think. Brushify, yes. Let's play from here. F. So we have some imposters. Okay, so now everything is imposters. Let's walk, and you see the the flickering of some trees. This is why they are very far, and they try to render the the leaves. This is why have some flicking. You know, we need to update the LOD distance for be more seamless. But of course, we are just testing the trees with a total environment will be different. But this looks good. F11. Okay. So let's see the imposters. Yeah, the imposters are bad. 